All right, here's the hand clean from the mid thigh. The reason we're doing this, the reason we're doing it from the mid thigh as opposed to just above the knee or below the knee, we want to get the mid thigh involved is that we really want to emphasize that second pull. Let's take momentum completely out of this. Now, for those who are really guilty of just ripping the weight off the ground, and one, two, three, go, you're just getting it and getting it upright as quick as possible. This is to avoid any momentum that gets created from that, just ripping the weight off the ground. And as you well know, this is not an appropriate power clean or, or clean for that matter. We want to create a position of explosiveness through our hips. What we want to do with this hang clean is get our torso, our body, our knees, really all of our joints, this whole chain, in the most optimal position to really finish that second pull. Like I said, momentum kaput. We're not having any momentum here. We're really forcing ourselves to extend from the hip, stabilizing our spine as we do this, and then of course, getting a great catch and rack and finishing this exercise strong. So let's just start off with the, uh, the basics here and getting in position. Go really light with this, okay? As, as you get to know this, you know, a, a 10, 25, 35 on each side is fine. Let's get in a good position with it, obviously. Let's raise up with the bar. And really what you're gonna do here is stand up straight and just bend the knees and drop. Notice the ball bar placement, depending how long your arms are, is probably gonna be about mid-thigh. I want my torso up, not bent over. The reason we want our body upright in this position as opposed to here, sometimes we get in the habit, especially if we're doing a ton of ton of reps, is just doing a power back extension. It has its place, it's a lot of stress on your back, but for today what we want to work on is triple extension through the hips. So I got to have my hip extend prior to my back. That's why I'm going to put my torso, my low lumbar, my thoracic straight up and down and then I'm going to get that great extension there. So as I'm holding this weight, I'm straight up with it. I want to put my weight back more towards the arch and heel rather than my toes. Sometimes when we pull that weight right from the ground, we get up on our toes too much. Lean back, get it up on your heels, squeeze those shoulder blades together. Again, the chest is up, eyes are forward. And now really what we want to do here, and I'm leaving out the weight, is just jump straight up. No dip. Imagine yourself preloaded, bam! We're straight up with the weight, we'll come up on your toes, not quite leave the ground, and then obviously we're gonna get under the weight, rack it high, throw those elbows forward, and pull ourselves under the bar for that third time there. So, how this will look, in a moderately quick speed, I'm here, I'm loaded, bam, and I catch. As you can probably see, I hopped a little bit forward, I wanna sit back even more. For me, a little bit more weight would be helpful to learn this, Pop, and I'm straight up with it. We don't need to cut away for this unless we're actually working on our catch in that phase, which has benefit. I really want to get great, huge bar displacement here. Do it really, really fast and do it without momentum. Some of the bad ones when we're here will dip. We want to use that momentum again. This is just a power back extension. If you're having trouble, sometimes doing it without the bar is great. Put the hands on the thighs so you feel what it's like being straight up and down and pop straight out, boom. All right, and you just get in that quick pop. If you're an athlete that's getting it every so often, do a hang clean pull, pop right there, and then get your hang clean. Pop, right there, the idea. Take your arms out of it. It's all hips, be violent, be aggressive. Watch how this thing takes to your power clean to your clean from the ground. Trust me, it will, it'll hit like wildfire. Watch how it takes the jumping, running, all the other explosive things you do for sport.